there, and welcome to Covered Crafts and Experiments, brought to you by Pikes Peak Library District. My name is Miss Emily, and this is my assistant. Today we're going to be making a really cool do-it-yourself lava lamp using just a few simple materials. You'll need a mason jar or a glass with straight sides, some water, some oil, and some salt. You can also add some food coloring if you have some. I'll go ahead and do that. Just a few drops should do the trick. <laughs> All right. Your first step is to pour the water into the mason jar. Can I have you hold that for me? Thank you. And it's a good idea to let your little one help you as much as they can, either by pouring or by holding. The second step is to pour in the oil. You wanna try to pour that in? Good job. And at this point you wanna let the oil and the water separate a little bit, and that can take a little bit. Okay, now you can see that the oil and the water have separated. And now for the third step, you can add your salt. And this is a good time to ask your little one to make some predictions. What do they think will happen when they add the salt? And make some observations. Can you see that? Cool. Just like in a real lava lamp, the oil is going down to the bottom and then rising back up. And you can keep adding more salt to keep watching it happen. Remember to have a grown-up help you with this experiment. And of course, have fun. Bye-bye. Ah. 